Hi everyone, we are on page 107 in the Math 1 book. Uh, it says, tell whether the graph opens upward or downward, then find the axis of symmetry. Uh, the AOS is what I'm going to call it, and the vertex, and I call that V, of the graph of the function. Uh, so, uh, when you're given the question, it doesn't actually give you this whole template. Um, it just says to tell me whether it opens up or down, then find the axis symmetry, then find the vertex. But I have written in this template just so um, just so you guys will know what information you need in order to solve the question. So first it says tell whether the graph opens upward or downward. The only information that I need is the A value. The A value is the number out in front of the x squared term. The A value is positive 1. Since it is positive, it opens upward. Okay, that's the only information you needed to tell whether uh, which direction it opens. Um, to find the axis of symmetry, you actually need to use a formula, x equals negative b over 2a. So I need to actually know what b is for the axis of symmetry. So a lot of people are going to mess up here and say that b is uh, negative 5, but actually if you were to write this out, remember ax squared plus bx plus c, right? Well, uh, this formula would be written as x squared plus 0x minus 5, so, or plus negative 5. So actually b is 0, c is negative 5. Okay, uh, we're not really going to need that C value um, directly, but uh, we will definitely need the B value. You plug the B in here, you get negative 0 over 2A. Well, that's just 0. 0 divided by anything is going to be 0. Okay, so then to find the vertex, all you do is you take that axis of symmetry. Um, that x value of the axis of symmetry and you substitute it in for x. So y equals 0 squared minus 5. So that gives me negative 5. So your vertex is actually a point and it should be x comma y. Okay, the x value is always going to be that axis of symmetry value. The y value is negative 5. So what this is is a parabola with a vertex at 0, negative 5, that opens upward. Okay? Let's look on down to number 10. Although it doesn't directly ask me for an A, B, and C value, I'm going to go ahead and write them out and then tell which way it opens. It opens upward because that A value is positive axis of symmetry, remember to write this formula, x equals negative b over 2a. I'm going to do the work out here to the side, and then I'm going to write my answer over here. And remember the x equals as well. A lot of people want to skip that. You have to write x equals because the axis of symmetry is a vertical line, and x equals tells me that it's a vertical line. So anyway, we have x equals negative, negative 12 over 2 times 3. If you're following PEMDAS correctly, this gives me positive 12 over 6. And 12 over 6 is 2. Okay, so my axis of symmetry is x equals 2. Um, I know teachers and every teacher I know says that you have to write x equals 2. You have to write the x equals. If you just write 2, we've got to take off points. So uh, follow this work, get to 2, and then now what do you do to find the vertex? I think you remember you're going to plug in that x value in, into uh, the original function. y equals 3 times 2 squared minus 12 times 2 plus 1. Um, I'm sorry I wasn't on camera there, but um, now you have to remember PEMDAS, okay? 
Um, PEMDAS tells you parentheses and then exponents, then multiply, divide, add, and subtract. Well, here's an exponent here. So you have to do, see a lot of people think that that operation is parentheses and they do three times two and they get six, but uh, that's not the case. You're going to do two squared and that's four. So three times four is 12 minus 24 plus one. 12 minus 24 is negative 12 plus 1. So I'm getting y equals negative 11. So our vertex is 2 comma negative 11. Alright, hope that worked out. And number 12. Um, instead of writing out the A, B, and C value, I wanted to see if we could do a question that um, where I don't write out A, B, and C. So here it is. This one opens, I bet you can guess, downward. And it's downward because there's a negative 2 out front, there's a negative 2 A value. And then the axis of symmetry is found by doing the formula negative b over 2 times a negative 7. Okay, the negative is in the formula. The 7 was the b value over 2 times negative 2. Okay. I already see, since I have two negatives in this number, it's going to give me a positive. So I'm thinking positive 7 over 4. So remember that you have to write x equals. Okay, and then to find the vertex, y equals negative 2 times 7 over 4 squared plus 7 times 7 over 4 minus 21. Yikes! So now we have to square a fraction. I'm probably going to take an extra step this time. So negative 2 times 7 squared over 4 squared. 7 squared is 49, 4 squared is 16. Plus 7, uh, since that's 7, it's just 7 over 1, so multiply across the top, 49 over 4. Minus 21. Alright, since this negative 2 is up front, it's just like it's over 1, negative 2 times 49 negative 2 times 49 what's that negative 98 I think over 16 plus 49 over 4 minus 21 now I expect that a um, high school student really already knows how to add fractions um, and I am okay if you just go to the calculator from here so Here's my calculator. I love this calculator, TI-30XS Multi-View. Um, basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to type in negative 98. I'm going to use this fraction bar here over 16. Then I push this arrow button out here, negative 98 over 16 plus 49 over 4 minus 21. I push enter negative 119 over 8. And if you want a different answer, like a decimal, all you have to do is push this little button above the enter sign. Just push that button. One, negative 119 over 8 or negative 14.875. I like the fraction. Negative 119 over 8. So, uh, here we go. Our answer, 7 over 4, comma, negative 119 over 8. So I hope that helps you. Um, this is just the first step of learning how to graph quadratics. And um, I wish you the best of luck with it. Uh, try hard.